Today we're going to be doing the unboxing and overview first impressions video of the Corbo seats, uh, Baja JP seats that we're going to be putting here in this Dale car. And I'm going to go over some reasons why I'm going with these seats. Uh, kind of unconventional, I guess. An unconventional seat for this kind of car. But I'll get into that uh, coming up here. And real quick, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, uh, save the playlist for the Dale car build here. Uh, we're going to be adding videos to this thing. We are transforming this car into something really cool. So please, if you like these videos, hit the like button, subscribe. Uh, it really helps the channel. Alright, so two seats are going to come in this box. And I know how they're sitting there, you know, kind of doing one of these. Um, I'd say something, but this is kind of a family-friendly channel. Anyway, you know where I was heading with that. But let's just get into this. All right, so we got, ooh, okay. We got a little, uh, little literature right here. We got bubble wrap. All right, okay, let's see. I also have to show you guys something else that I bought with these seats. Uh, it's really gonna be nice for this car. All right. Ugh. All right, we have a bubble wrapped seat. It's pretty lightweight. It's really, really nice, actually. <laughs> Let's see. All right, let's just get this bubble wrap off here uh, so we can take a look at this thing. Woo! Okay, okay. I'm liking this. I'm really liking this. I went with the cloth and vinyl. Um, I think it just gives it more of that like kind of old school kind of racer look. Uh, but otherwise you can do all vinyl. I don't think you can do all cloth. I think it's going to come, the cloth option is just going to come cloth in the middle here um, and still vinyl outside. So uh, what we have here is you have the Baja JP seat. Uh, and like I was saying earlier, this is a little unconventional for putting in a passenger car. Uh, this is a suspension seat, which I'll show you that right here. So it has these, it has webbing. Um, rather than a normal seat uh, this has webbing so as you can see I don't know if you can see that but I'm pushing down and it has these straps here that are kind of elastic um, and these are made for more like off-road applications but the stylus seat I didn't want something uncomfy for my dad uh, you know most like race seats high back race seats like this that you put in passenger cars um, you know the the more affordable options are going to be super uncomfy uh, because they're plastic uh, they have barely any padding when I seen these seats I knew these were the seats I had to get uh, for the Dale car you know something race inspired race style bucket seat but comfy and um, I'm really excited to get this in the car and uh, show you guys all right, so right now I'm just looking over the seat, just inspecting it uh, for any imperfections or you know anything. But uh, for an affordable seat, I don't see anything wrong with this. This looks like a great seat, um, you know, to get in passenger car, your off-road Jeep, truck, whatever. Um, it's it, so far it looks like a great seat. So like I was saying earlier, I'm gonna have to put up some stats up here, maybe prices, different options they got. But one of the big things that led me to this seat in particular was uh, a lot of the Corbo seats didn't have any sort of bottom mounting bracket. Um, you can add one to your cart for about $54, $56 or something like that. Uh, because most of their seats have just this tubular like frame that would uh, get welded directly to a roll cage or something like that. Uh, but they do sell a bracket for, like I said, around $50 or so that you'd be able to add to the bottom uh, to have a seat slider installed, which Corbo Seats does have their own seat sliders, and I'll show you that here in just a second. But uh, I went with this seat in particular because, like I said, it was around $200, and it already has the bottom mounting, which uh, some of the other ones I was looking at didn't. But this one already had it at no additional cost, 
So that was another big deciding factor. You know, I, I'm trying to get quality parts for as cheap as I can on this car, but you know, still have that quality. You know, that we're not going to have to go out and get another pair of seats. You know, a year down the road. Now, from what I spoke on earlier, Corbo Seats has their own seat brackets made specifically for the application that you're working on. And uh, I was really excited about that because, you know, we want to put seat sliders in this car. This is a double lock seat slider. Uh, we really wanted seat sliders in this car so people could get in and out of the back seat still because this seat doesn't fold down. So we wanted seat sliders to be able to push people or push the seat up, get people in the back. Um, and really excited because a lot of the like universal seat mounts I was seeing, it just it just would have been more of a headache. You would have been having a lot more hassle. Uh, which these are one hundred and twenty four dollars. That is going to be um, one twenty four piece, I should say. But that is going to get you the frame and the slider assembly built on uh, with no problems. All right, now I want to show you something here. This is what I seen on a somebody else's video. Uh, I don't remember how long ago it was, but somebody else bought the Corbo seat uh, bracket here, and they said they were having a problem after they bolted the seat on, um, the bolt that goes through here, it would hit this bolt here. And the guy was all pissed off, you know, he was saying, he's like, it doesn't matter, you know, after you bolt it in, you know, you gotta slide this forward to bolt in the one end, but then when you slide it back, it gets stuck on the bolt, and then it's just stuck, so then you really have to fight with it. Well, Corbo made that fix. They made this section taller to clear that bolt. So if you're watching this video now, uh, you shouldn't have any problem attaching uh, the bolts that come in the seat uh, to this bracket here. You shouldn't have any issue. So there's not going to be any like extra bags of hardware or anything uh, with the seat bracket or the seat itself. The hardware that comes with the seat uh, in this particular case is uh, Allen bolts here here just four Allen bolts and these Allen bolts are going to bolt right up to the seat bracket so uh, yeah let's do that right now then I also want to show you here uh, you're gonna want to mount the rear section first because there's only one hole on the back opposed to the front the front has three mounting holes so you're going to want to do the rear one first to see where the front one mounts up to. All right, guys, that is going to do it for today's video of installing the Corbo bucket seats into the Monte Carlo, and I absolutely love the way it looks. Hope you guys enjoy it, too. Um, I hope this gives you some inspiration or think a little bit outside the box of the type of seats you can put in your cars, in your uh, street legal stock cars. Um, you know, these, they're not meant to be in 
a Monte Carlo. They're meant to be in a Jeep, but they're really comfy, uh, just all around a really nice seat, and I think it really changes the look of this car from the nasty uh, bench seats that were in it to these awesome bucket seats that we have in here. It definitely gives it more of a race feel. And uh, we might be putting some seat belts in here for looks. Uh, I'm gonna get in that in another video about a roll cage. I'll get in that in another video. But uh, I think it's gonna be looking awesome here, you know, when we get the motor in this car, get it on the road. It's definitely gonna turn some more heads when we take it to some shows. So uh, until the next video, guys, get out in the garage, build something cool, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.